Morgan Ensberg, the team MVP in 2005. He had 36 homers, drove in 101 runs that year for the Astros as they went to the World Series for the first time. Victor Martinez takes ball one. Now he's in the Astros organization doing some coaching. Are you with Lancaster only or are you roaming around to any other teams? No, I'm actually going all over the place. Okay. And it is awesome. I love it. I've always known that I was a coach and I love helping these kids. And what's really cool and what the fans need to know is that we have some absolute dudes coming up. Throw out a few favorites. Okay, so I mean, if we talk about Triple A and Double A guys that are on their way, we're talking about Roberto Pena is a catcher who flat out shuts down the running game. I'm telling you, I have not seen a guy that's this good at, at catching and shutting down a running game since Pudge. Uh, another guy, uh, Andrew Applin, center fielder, is the best center fielder in my opinion in the game of baseball. Uh, wow, he doesn't. I, I'm telling you, I've never seen this guy drop a ball. He gets great jumps. He's an instinctual guy. Uh, there's a guy, Triple A, Matt Duffy, unbelievable. He's a guy that grows on you, and uh, he just finds a way to get it done. A very much a baseball type guy. And then we have arms as if it's just going out of style. I mean, we got Joe Musgrove, who's a guy he refuses to walk anybody. He just strikes out guys. His, you know what? I, I don't know what his ratio is, but at a certain point, I, I think it was 70 to 1 oh. strikeout to walk ratio. <laughs> and I'm like, what does that even mean? You know, usually about 50 to 1 is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, 50 to 1, you're like, okay, okay, I can I can figure something out. But when you start approaching 70, uh, it's really impressive. So there's a lot of guys. You guys have seen, you know, Vasquez. Um, uh, you've seen McCullers. Uh, you've seen a lot of guys, but I'll, I'll tell you what, there's still tons of guys coming. Wow. Who's the next Morgan Ensberg at third? Oh, boy. I, you know what? We can put anybody there. I think Matt Duffy's pretty darn good. I think Matt Duffy, he's a guy that just completely, um, you, you watch him at first and kind of like myself, you go, I don't know if this is going to play. And then you see over time, there's instinct. He makes the plays, and he gets huge hits. I think he's got 90 uh, RBIs right now. So he, he, he's he's definitely a player. That's exciting news. Now, did you see yourself doing this job when you were playing here in 2005? Well, I'll tell you what. I didn't know the exact job, but I knew I was always a coach. I was the guy that, um, well, shoot, Ash, you and I would sit down on the planes, and, and we would just talk shop, and you would talk me down, and I would talk about just <laughs> helping you know other people and talking them down and so forth. But so I, everything's going to be all right, Mo. You've got 33 home runs. There's another. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like Ash. I'm trying. You know what, Ash? I've got a great story actually, and I tell this to the minor league guys. I, I tell them, I'm like, you know what you need to do, and you said this to me. Swing the bat like there's a pretty girl in the stands. Oh, like your girlfriend. <laughs> like your girlfriend's in the stands. Your wannabe uh, girlfriend that's right. sitting up there. That's right. And yeah. I was like, man, this is brilliant. So I just started <laughs> coming out of my shoes. Yeah. Christy that's, liked it pretty well. Christy loved it. I mean, I must have been swinging really good in, in, at SC because she is hot. <laughs> uh, 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 that's beautiful. Yeah. Tyler Collins, the batter, and uh, it's rewarding work that you're doing too as you watch these kids improve and, and they want to know all about life in the big leagues along the way for you. They do. You know, as a coach now, it's interesting. I remember my best friend Bob is, is uh, a high school football coach back at our high school, and I remember him saying this to me, and, and I feel it now too, is when you played, you wanted to win so badly, and you were really looking at like what you did incorrectly that almost lost the game. Now as a coach, what ends up happening is you're thinking about all the guys and you're saying, how am I going to get through to this kid? What am I going to say to this kid? Because even though uh, we're all speaking sort of the same language, it's not English versus Spanish. It's baseball communication. And you're just trying to figure out how to be clear with them. Now, do you speak any Spanish at all? Sí, claro. Oh. <laughs> Yo entiendo uh, poquito. Claro que sí. sí, pero no lo hablo. Okay. Muy lo siento. Sí. <laughs> importante. <laughs> importante, yeah. Sí. Two balls, two strikes. It's been a few years, but yeah, that's the idea is to to relate to any way you can, and sometimes that's what it means. You know, I was just going to say, we always had a hard time breaking Morgan out, out of his shell, so. <laughs> yeah. It's that Cal hey, you know L.A. guy. What are you talking about? I, I got gotcha. you. I mean, uh, you know what? The players want three things. They want to know uh, if they can trust you. They want to know if you can help them. And they want to know if you care. 
And, and those are the three things. If you answer those three things for the player, they will listen. If you don't answer, if you do two of those three, honestly, they're just not. And so what's important is I'm very honest, and even though I'm a positive guy, I hit these poor kids right between the eyes. Morgan, thanks so much for the visit. It went all too fast. you got to join us again soon. Yeah, I'm in. Morgan Hensburg, scoreless game.